morning. It's Saturday the 29th of June 2013 and I'm stood outside the Holiday Inn Express just off junction 25 of the M5. Today is a special occasion as the boys from the junior leaders Royal Army Service Corps who were based at Norton Manor Camp just outside Taunton. We're all getting together today uh, as I said for this reunion of some of the guys we haven't seen for nearly 50 years so it should be an experience of a lifetime. Good old Sun Eyes. That's it. It's the best band ever. Ever. Yeah, yeah. boys in black, Ellis. Matthew, 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 boys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Phil <laughs> died. Oh, it's a dame, is it? Our daughter's gone shopping. <laughs> I step back. Here. Good old dad to the rescue. Yeah, daddy's. That was her. That was her last words today. More, isn't it? She's good. Of course she is. Hello, Mr. Sheriff. I'm just making sure everybody's on the coach. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you for coming. <laughs> bye bye. And your name is Simon. 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 Simon, pleased to meet you, Simon. Pleased to meet you. And this is... Harry. Look at this, Harry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> is that a video camera? <laughs> Simon, watch it, watch it. He's filming this. Wobbly, <laughs> Nelly. So, I knew we were close. Do you remember the pub? Well done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
somebody else and it had been incorrectly routed to me. So I, that's, we sent, I sent the email back to Roy for his friend, whoever it was, and I said, were you in fact the, uh, the junior major master sergeant major? Indeed I was. Roy, uh, Walter, actually, came to support me. Wally, <laughs> came to meet him, got back for lunch and things like that. And from there on, we thought, what a good idea to start digging people up. <laughs> <laughs> So I went, I went back on the site, I found Dave Ross, and I went on another site and found Jeff Green, I, I, and he actually contacted me within minutes while I was on the actual site. And from there we started looking for people from our old platoon, and we, we dug up John, others, Tell, you know, all, 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 all the Hobbs platoon people. And from there on, there's been networking that's been going on, and other people being brought in, and literally, by the day, there's somebody new coming in, and what's our total figure of two, Randy? 171. 171. Fantastic. Okay. Now, there's an interesting point here. Who joined the Army? Who joined the Junior Leaders in 1960? Obviously. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. Next year is the, centenary, is the centenary of the First World War. Yeah? And when you joined, it was 42 years after, after the First World War. So in fact, your time from joining and today is about 10 years longer than the time from when you joined to the start of the First World War. So it just shows, covers the period that this is actually covering and how keen people are to get involved. So we were there, we were there 42 years after the Great News. First of all, well, I suppose that Dave Ashby and Ronnie Gibbs and Derek Edom must have barely avoided the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I finally I've started running this down now, and organising this event has been no mean feat. And all of it has been done by this man here, Dave Ross. And in this way he's organised for this, he's organised the attendances, the photographer, the accommodation for the hotels and things like that, transportation, badges, plaques, he even got a grant from the Regimental Association. In addition to all of this, he's the guy who pushes out that brilliant newsletter. Okay, so let's give another round of applause for this. Additionally, I'd also like to thank here Bob Barra, the former mayor of Tottenham and Wellington, yeah, as well, who's been our liaison officer for um, the commandos. It's no easy task getting this thing to come here because of the security and, and what have you, and of course it's been quite traumatic for the regiment for us to come here and do a big celebration when they've had a lot of losses and things like this. So it has been walking on eggs getting this thing uh, organised and we're very uh, pleased for that. I also like to praise Tony Ash, 
Mike Mason, Harry Worthley, Phil Creek, our bus sheriffs for getting us all here. <laughs> I'd just like to just close and say, everybody enjoy your sleep, enjoy your uh, day, and have a good fun chatting the old mates and digging up the past. Is Dick Edinburgh here? Yeah. 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 Stay quiet. Um, I'd just like to remind you that the, the mess manager has, has really gone out of her way to help us on this. So if Julie would come forward, um, our friend Bob Bower here will present you with a, a little something for all your efforts. RESC RCT Rural Logistic Corps Association has um, kindly donated a certain sum of money to help us have this do, and in return we're going to have to listen to Des Wilson for two or three minutes talk. Des, where are you? Right here. He's lost his voice. There he is. He's lost his voice. You've all, you're all happy, so we always have to dump when the spurs are very much. Stop unfolding it. It's a whole ring. The RASC Association, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as a result of, like us, all our senior people getting a bit old, they could no longer administrate the welfare funds. So in the year 2011-2012, we handed over approximately £10 million pounds to the Royal Logistic Corps. And you've asked now, where did the £10 million pounds come from? Well, it come from your pocket. When you used to donate a day's pay per year, and that was, if I read what I wrote here, it was, it was donated by you in order to have a little bit of insurance if things went wrong. And without sort of having people having to think they were going to charity, they could call upon that insurance to help them. Uh, some of the uses that that money has now gone to is, is provided wheelchairs, electric wheelchairs, stir lifts, and even at Christmas time, it goes out and gives up the £75 to those needy people so that they can have a decent Christmas meal. Uh, and that is all looked after by uh, our Lieutenant Colonel Knowles at, at the Royal Logistic Court Headquarters. <coughs> and I, I do stress that the assistance that you get is not a charity. You've paid into the pot, and if people need it, or you know people that need it, then there should be no sort of embarrassment to go and ask for some, some help. Don't let people suffer with pride today when they could possibly call upon the insurance they paid for yesterday to help them out. Membership. That's what I'm preaching now. It couldn't be easier. You pay six pounds and you become a member for life. And in exchange for that, you will get the Wagner magazines. I've got some on the table out there which I will put down. And those who have a boring journey down can read them on the way back up just to take some light out of it. Oh, I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> when you, if, if we have another gathering, or when we have another gathering, and, and there's a significant number of people here, then we can apply to the headquarters for a, a grant of money that represents what we, and we will get another grant of money. So that it, it will lessen the blow for those people who are less well off. And of course, the other benefit is, if you're known to a branch in your local area, you can request the standard at your final period. I feel sure they'll turn out. I certainly turn out and talk for anybody that I know. How do we join? If we're not already members, it couldn't be simpler. We will have a sheet on the table, and all you have to do is quint down that sheet and look, tick your name if you're already a member, or tick your name if you'd like to join. I don't want any money today. Dave said to me, just let him know who it is that wants to join up. We'll get in touch with you. You send me a cheque for £6. It's the best art branch account, not to me personally. 
and we will give you a certificate sent to your home address telling you you're now a member. And you will help us know where we'll be one more. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for me. I trust you will all, I trust you will all enjoy yourselves here. Williams and Dave Ross are the main drivers behind this group. And um You're but, clubs, we're clubs. But, but <laughs> behind them there's been two long suffering wives. So better whip round, we like <coughs> Sandy and Janice to come forward and we've got someone somewhere with a little something of appreciation for you. Here we go. <laughs> know me, know that is something which is completely alien to me. <laughs> there are two people who have been mentioned, Dave Ross and Michael Williams. They've done an awful lot for us since they started this wonderful fellowship that we find ourselves in. And many people have said to me it would be wrong if we didn't sort of reward them just a little bit. And when I say we're going to reward them a little bit, that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> If you just bear with me. <laughs> I don't know how this works, but So, I think first if we say, uh, let me see, let's check with who this belongs to. David Rocks. We like to check with you. <laughs> Well done, Dave. Brother. Well done, Dave. Well done, Dave. Michael. And Michael, it, um, come no surprise to you that you're having the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> From all of us, thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you.